Carolina on the ride Welcome, Panther Nation. Bill Mack here with another edition of The Panther Proud. Glad you folks could join me for Panther fans. This is indeed Bill Mack here with another edition, getting you ready for the winding down the 2017 season as we are two games left before the end of the regular season as our Panthers are in their deep, their set ready to try to go in and bring out Hopefully a win this weekend and also a potential playoff spot. Right now it's still sketchy as we have the top three of the four teams in the NFC South that are fighting for the division and the two wild card spots as all three of our teams are in a deep hunt for that. So uh, as our and and of course our last two games are against our division rivals, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as we will host them as our final home game of the season, and we ended out in the regular season finale next week in Atlanta, which these two games are all important as we hope to win these games and hope a little help from Atlanta next week or week after. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm just hoping that our team can do it. There's a lot going on, and there's, so let's just get right into the video. Uh, with the result of with the uh, stat, stats here, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are at four and ten. They are one and six away. Our, our Panthers are ten and four. They are five and two at home. ESPN projects the Panthers to win at seventy three point six percent, a good overwhelming almost three quarters percentage um, in winning this matchup. Of course, we know Tampa Bay has been beat up. Cam is 261 completions out of 433 yard, uh, 33 attempts, 2962 passing yards. He's got 21 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. Jay Stewart, of course, has 191 carries, 661 yards, six touchdowns. And of course, our leading receiver is Devin Funches. He has 58 burnt, uh, receptions, 781 yards, and seven touchdowns. And we go to the other side, the opponents, the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers, of course, led by Jameis Winston. He has 233 completions out of 364 attempts, 2774 yards, 17 TDs, only eight interceptions. <clears throat> of course, leading rusher Doug Martin, 129 carries, 402 yards, three touchdowns, and leading receiver for them. Mike Evans at 60 catches, 839 yards, and five touchdowns. So we see the receptions there and, and the running. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We see their running is lacking with their leading rusher. Um, this is some news from Carolina. It happened this past week, of course. Injury report. Uh, Shaq Thompson did come back to practice, and he practiced as of Wednesday as of this video going uh, being presented to you. Uh, we see that, you know, of course, uh, guard Trey Turner is still in protocol. He may or may not be ready by then. As of right now, I don't think he's going to play. Um, linebacker, of course, Thomas Davis, you know, was suspended uh, suspended after last week's hit on Devontae Adams, the wide receiver out of Green Bay. They had it appealed. It's only a one down a one-game suspension, which I think he's going to serve this week. And, of course, uh, we see that owner Jerry Richardson, after all the scandal with the, the inappropriate misconduct, the workplace misconduct suits and investigation done by the Panthers and the NFL, he has agreed to step down and sell the team at the end of the year. He won't have any kind of talk about bids or anything like that or prospective owners until after the Panthers have played their last game. Um, you know, Luke Keekley, congratulations to Luke. Um, he was the only Carolina Panther player elected to the Pro Bowl this year, which is odd because we had the fifth-ranked overall defense, and he's the only one ele elected. And also, too, a good thing coming out of this week's uh, uh, game will be if Carolina wins, they'll be able to grab a playoff spot and still contend for the NFC South. Uh, division title. So this win's going to be a lot for us this week to get. Tampa Bay news, of course, Tampa Bay had placed four guys on in, on IR 
uh, ta uh, tight end OJ uh, Howard, safety Justin Evans, cornerback Vernon Hargraves, go uh, guard uh, go guard J.R. Sweezy, and linebacker A. Darius Glenn Glanton. After a massacre last week, their game against Atlanta, where Tampa Bay had ten people injured. So those four won't be in it. Uh, we see that um, Deshaun Jackson didn't practice um, Wednesday because of an ankle injury. And, of course, defensive end Robert Ayers didn't practice because of a stinger. So it's still to be received uh, to, with, that we see whether Jackson or Ayers is going to be. But as of this video, like I said, I try to get this video out as early as I can a few days before. Um, I don't know if there if either one of them is going to be active, uh, you know, if either one of those is going to be active for the game. Getting down to it, last game we saw Tampa Bay. Like I said, they lost Atlanta against Atlanta, twenty-four to twenty-one, and our Panthers won a game at uh, playing Green Bay at home, thirty-one to twenty-four. And our team stats raises this: Carolina's uh, total yardage is three hundred thirty-four to Tampa Bay's three fifty-four point nine. Uh, Carolina's only allowed 20.4 points to Tampa Bay's 24.0, and uh, Carolina scores 23.6 to Tampa Bay's 20.4. And I'm sorry if some of these stats are incomplete, like the yards allowed, because uh, they haven't quite um, put the stats up yet, the full preview, but I got these out to you. Um, some of my key points to the game are this. We are with our offense. Continue doing what we're doing. Cam has been doing really well. Let the run game. Let McCaffrey run because we've seen that Tampa Bay has been really bad against the run since week seven. Uh, their week seven bye. They've been really terrible with the run. Our run has really been helpful to us, except last week. But we need to let that run go against uh, against Tampa Bay as far as our our def our offense. Continue protecting Cam. Don't let him get sacked, you know. And 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 Cam won't throw the turnover. And Cam won't throw interceptions and make turnovers, you know. Khalil's hopefully will have a little bit easier time this week than he has been the past few weeks. Uh, for and like I said, getting McCaffrey and Jay Stewart involved in the running game and try to get punches. Uh, Greg Olson, thumbs up to him. Awesome performance last week. Awesome performance by McCaffrey last week. Punches had one catch for 19 yards. I'm looking for that to hopefully get better uh, and increase the, his, you know, the his touches this week upcoming against the secondary of Tampa Bay. Now we go to the defensive side. Uh, all we've got to do is shut down Martin, make Jameis one-dimensional. Like I said, apply pressure to him. And our secondary, Brad uh, Bradbury has looked kind of rough here since the last few weeks. We're going to have to make sure that he stays locked down and we get help over with Mike Evans. If we shut down Mike Evans, I'm pretty sure that that's going to shut down most of – and, and if, if Jackson's playing, which he's hurt, he's not going to be at 100%. So we have a chance to get an easy win here if our team just plays up to it and not overlooks – them to play Atlanta at home because that's going to be the real test for us. This Panther Nation should be a win for us if we stop it. Like I said, stop the run. The run hasn't been effective, and we uh, we allow our rent ground and pound game. Get our passes to Olson to Funches to McCaffrey. Let him in the slot. Let him do um, his damage to and running. We shouldn't have that hard of a game here. I mean, our guys are doing well. You know, they're wanting to send, since Jerry Richardson is dropping, is selling the team at the end of the year, the Panthers want to go all the way and win a Super Bowl. Well, now's the time you've got to really dig in. You've got to pressure. You've got to pressure these teams. You've got to, you've got to show them who's the dominant team, and you can go far. The Panthers are, are, are a threat to go to the Super Bowl if they continue doing what they're doing and not playing any kind of overlooking that a lot of times teams will do. Take this game, put it right in front of you, mow them down, and then go on the next week. But don't overlook Tampa Bay because a lot of times those are the games that end up biting you. And we want Carolina to win the division. I mean, it's going to be great to get a playoff spot, but it would be nice to have a division where we could potentially have – one of our games at home, so in the playoffs. So that's what we've got to do. Shut down uh, Winston. Uh, we've got to shut down that running game. 
and let's just keep our running game and our passing game going. This should be a win for us, Panther Nation. So when I come back to you, like I said, it might be late with review. I'll, of course, be at work, but I'll try to get that view review out to you that night. Check that out whenever it comes out. I will definitely be back to give you my thoughts and opinions on the review of the game. So until next time, Panther Nation, this is Bill Mack with the Panther Prowl saying, keep, it, keep pounding.